Are obstacles really the way? Welcome back, Mere Mortalized, to another edition of the Mere Mortals Book Reviews. This is one back at it again, better known for other podcasts like the Mere Mortals Podcast and also helping out with the Mere Mortals Book Reviews. And I'm back to review The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Now, a little bit of a tidbit here. I am on a mission to read quite a few of Ryan Holiday's books. There's new annual goals for the season for me. Um, So I've got quite a few of his books to come up. So if you do enjoy Ryan Holiday or you haven't read his books and want to kind of understand what they are, well, fear not, I'm going to be tackling them through. The first one that I've picked up is Obstacle is the Way. So let's look at a, a little synopsis of the book itself. It isn't a gigantic book. It's a 200-pager, and it comes in really nice bite-sized editions for you to go and read. Now, the big uh, takeaway for me in terms of the the book and and how it's structured, three big key pieces. There's perception, there's action, and there's will. And Ryan actually goes through, and essentially, he brings the ancient art of turning adversity into advantage. Um, So he does this by exposing very short, um, sharp, chapters where he'll take very considered approach, a very considered structure, and I'll get to that in a minute, to walk us through different ways that you could view an obstacle or different ways that one might perceive one and how you might move forward in terms of uh, being perceptive to that, um, the way to act correctly behind that, and finally, uh, the will that you can have to actually allow that. Now, I touched on the structures of the chapters as well. They're very, very short, um, and there's quite a, a numerous amount to them. So when I actually looked at the book, firstly, I kind of went, well, there's, there's a lot of information here, but the way that it's actually structured down as you go through the book is, is quite great. So I'll give you an example here around perceptions. So some of the chapters that you might see is the discipline of perception, recognize your power, steady your nerves, control your emotions, practice objectivity, alter your perspective, is it up to you, etc. Now, in between these is about four to five pages. So they're four to five pages in length, And they've got a very specific structure. And that is one which I think plays really well uh, in the way that Ryan's done it because uh, these sort of topics and themes generally from a self-help book, which is really what it is, a self-help book, but that's utilizing the ancient information from the Stoics and beyond, sometimes just comes across a little bit too up in the air, fluffy. How do I actually apply this? We've talked about it on the Mere Mortals podcast before around there's philosophy and there's the effective version of philosophy. Uh, but fear not, Ryan has uh, looked at a way to try and make it into a slightly more effective philosophy. And the way that he has gone about and done that is each particular chapter is structured in the way of a title, then a quote from a prominent uh, or notable individual, and then a notable story that actually kicks things off first, generally one, two pages in length which shows you the application of the idea, the theme, and the quote that's actually been started with, then venturing into what that might mean as an applicability for the general population, for all mere mortals, and then ties it up at the end of that particular chapter with, again, back to the example and some examples of how you can apply it in your everyday life. Um, so I guess that that does take a, a nice spin, I believe at least, in the way that it overlooks into particular ideas and themes and tries to apply it as quickly as possible. Now, you can't really do much with five, six, seven pages, but what it get, does get done with those pages is quite nice in the way that Ryan um, structures it. Uh, and overall, uh, as the, the book sort of comes towards its tail end, he actually also has a selected bibliography that you can go away and read in terms of what brought a lot of information of this book in itself, as well as recommended reads that he has had if you want to go and read some of the original um, pieces of work around the Stoics. So that might be Meditation by Marcus Aurelius. Again, you could check out the Mere Mortals book review on that uh, book as well. If you're really interested, I'll make sure I put a link there for everyone who wants to go and actually check that out. Um, but uh, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty easily structured book, one that you can take away, put down, uh, and you know, essentially and how I read it, is reading it for half an hour, putting it down, coming back to the next day, and you can really chunk it up really nicely and easily. So I do uh, praise the book for that. Now, to the themes of the book. Now, uh, I just want to make sure I bring up these two um, points here because initially my perspective when I picked up this book, and, and this might just be my own bias here, which I'm trying to make sure I don't look at, is I went, okay, I really want to read a lot of Ryan Holiday's books. I've listened to him on lots of podcasts. He seems like a really interesting character. People talk about this book quite a bit and all of the other ones. It must be a really great book. And while I be, when I began to read it, 
a few pages in, I went, ah, is this really that great? I've seen a few examples of self-help books and want to try to put together a lot of ideas together and they use stories, sometimes to not great effect, sometimes to really fantastic effect, aka Sapiens, uh, really loved that one, or uh, Homo Deus, those two were fantastic, fantastic from Yuval Noah Harari and being able to put storylines together, stories, the ideas, just with masterful. And at the beginning with those short chapters, I went... Uh, is this really, really hitting a target? Is, is it not? However, as I kept on reading through, I actually found that that particular structure I talked about of those chapters was actually quite powerful. I was able to really quickly and easily see how a chapter actually detailed of a quote to a story to how it applied to everyday life to the mere mortals. And back to a, you know, a summarization of that story, I went, actually, wow, that's actually, that's actually really good. And one of the chapters, I'll make sure that I can um, call it out because it, it was quite prominent. I believe it was the will and it was either the discipline of the will or building your inner citadel. I think it was actually building your inner citadel that on that particular day, there were already some things happening in my personal life where my will was being challenged, let's just say, and not to the extreme degree, it was just being challenged. And I read that chapter where it was a quote, it was a story and how you apply it to yourself and it just seemed so effective, so much like a piece of uh, literature that I could actually pick up, utilize in my everyday life, take it away and do something about it and actually put me in a really uh, good position in terms of how I felt around that day. Now, that is very different to perhaps other self-help books where you, you you might go and read this huge amount of thing and you go, but how does that actually apply to my life? And that seems a little bit overblown. So to that end, totally enjoyed that particular theme in the way that he was actually able to move to effective philosophy. Um, the other one though, however, is there are some contradictions uh, in this book. And the I'm, I'm not going to pick out a particular example. And the way that I, one of the notes I just wrote there was there are a lot of different views or at least probably polar opposite views across some of the conversations that I had here in the different chapters. And I would just see that more as it's a dichotomy that exists within a lot of these um, items, whether it's perception of the action. So um, I, I will give one example. One of the actions here is, you know, essentially uh, pushing as hard as you can um, you know, to the nth degree, even to some things that fit fine, like that might be impossible. You just have to keep going. It's the perseverance. It's the uh, tenacity to keep going. When there's also another chapter that talks about learning when to actually tap out, when it's impossible, when you're just bashing your head in the wall. Now, because of the way that Ryan writes, which some people might uh, tend to enjoy, some might not, he is definitive. He, so some people might see that extreme, but he's definitive in the way that no, this bad thing happened, you can always look at it in a positive way. You can have a positive light. You can have a positive um, interaction with that. You know, whatever your, the, the action that comes to you, it's your emotions that you can react and control to and the like. So if some people um, digest that and go, yeah, that's not always the time. You know, current sometimes can be like this uh, and it's not a right thing or it's a wrong thing. It's just sort of where, where you believe. I align a little bit more to the way that Ryan talks about uh, those I guess emotions or particularly the obstacles, obstacles that come in the way um, in the sense that anything that comes through, it's the, it's the answer. The obstacle actually is the answer to move you forward. But because of those differing views, you almost have to pass it a little bit where, okay, if one's completely correct, is the other one that you've now talked about, Ryan, where you have someone saying that you shouldn't, but you should be super tenacious and never give up. But also there's another one where you have to learn when to stop and when things are impossible. Okay, I, I see that more as it's a dichotomy and I wouldn't be talking at it at the very extremes, but perhaps somewhere in the middle where you should be tenacious, but also recognize when you have to actually pull the stops and not go to either extreme as well. Um, but that's just a, another theme that you'll actually see in the book. Personal takeaways uh, for myself. Uh, look, to me, it, it started off slow. Uh, as I mentioned before, and probably just setting the expectation of it, but it did pick up for me and specifically the will section. So I really enjoyed the perception um, chapters or the, the groupings. The action was quite good, but for me, the will aspect was awesome. So I, at least that last third of the book was absolutely brilliant. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. It would be a book that I wouldn't so much go and reread again, cover to cover, but I might reread some of those specific uh, will chapters. Uh, but it makes it also a very easy book that you can go back to and pick up a particular chapter if you want to just get a little bit of a of a recall on, oh, what was that story about Abraham Lincoln? What was that story about, you know, how can I build my inner citadel? What does that actually mean? So it makes it a, a really easy book to just go back, read a couple of pages and go, okay, cool. That, that set me in the, in the right path again. 
awesome. Let's go get after it. Um, so I do like the book for that um, and makes it for me say, okay, it would be a book that I would reread again, but potentially just certain aspects as unlike uh, Main Search for Meaning, which is a book that I will read uh, annually uh, for a very long time. Um, but the the final one as well for, for my for me personally was I just use the the notable uh, comparisons of a combination of sort of historical learning um, with a clear alignment to the quote itself that it was uh, positioned to. So I'm just going to pick one again, absolutely uh, at random, one that's probably got a little bit of maybe knowledge to people here who, if I'm talking it to. Um, so seizing the offensive is one aspect here, and there's a, a little quote here by E. H. Chapin, uh, the best men are not those who have waited for chances, but who have taken them. Besieged chance, conquered the chance, and made chance the servitor. Now, yeah, first bit, it's a quote, kind of gets you a little bit riled up to seize the offensive. Then the next aspect goes into, in the spring of 2008, Barack Obama's presidential campaign um, candidacy was uh, imperiled. And then it goes into a little bit of story around why and how it was able to seize the offensive. So that sort of connection to historical information, the quote, the idea, then into how it applies to you. And I'll actually give you that that other example as well where, you know, um, just pick one. At the very end of that that chapter, um, Ryan calls out the ob- obstacles not only turned upside down, but used as a catapult. And that's when you actually go ahead and seize the offensive. So there's this intertwining of, of history, of story, of the quote, of the idea that I really, really enjoy in the book. Um, and look, as a summary, I actually gave this book an eight out of 10. It began in my mind formulating as, oh, I'm a bit bit wary here. My perception doesn't seem to be being matched. But as I said, as I got on and on with the book, I really, really enjoyed it. So it was an 8 out of 10 for me of The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. But I recommend absolutely, should you get it, absolutely go read it wherever you can uh, because you know these book reviews is more so to, to give you a bit of guidance on the, on the structure and the ideas that, that play in part um, within the books but nowhere near in part to, to share all of the many information that does come out of it. Although it spills out in our other conversations in our Mere Mortals podcast like Musings and Meanderings which you should go check out as well. Um, so that's my review of Obstacles Away by Ryan Holiday. If you have been enjoying some of these book reviews uh, specifically obviously the Ryan Holiday review yeah, I get prepared for some, some more. I've got them all stacked up and I'm, I'm going to be reading them over the next couple of months so uh, be on the lookout for those and if you want to support us as well of course this, uh, you can boost your grammars through with any of your other thoughts comments or ideas um, or you can share these book reviews as well so any uh, individuals who might find it handy for now be immortalized I hope you enjoyed and hope you're well wherever you are in the world Juan out